Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Ace of Spades University channel. Today, I want to discuss Atlanta on FX. It's a show created by Donald Glover, Childish Gambino himself, and they just finished their entire series, their, their fourth and final season. They wrapped it up this past Thursday. So I thought, what better way to pay homage to Donald Glover and his artistry by giving a real quick wrap up of the past four seasons in this video. So just to give you guys a really quick premise, Donald Glover, he created the character Ern, Ernest and he decided to drop out of Harvard and come home to Atlanta where he is managing his cousin, Alfred, who goes by Paperboy. And this Paperboy is played by Brian Tyree Henry. And he's actually pretty, pretty good. Like he's actually blowing up. There's one episode where he's being interviewed for the entire time for his album. So he's becoming more popular as Earn works for him and is managing his career. At the same time, he's trying to juggle the relationship with his ex, the mother of his child, Vanessa, or Van, as she's most commonly known throughout the series. And she's played by Zazie Beats. And then, of course, we also have everyone's um, friend and he's a he's a really free spirit throughout the series Lakeith Stanfield and he's played he plays Darius within Atlanta so that's just the backstory but what I love mostly about this show is that it speaks to our generation like it has cultural nuances and at the same time, it also has things that, you know, make you laugh, make you cry, that speak to us in our generation. I'm a millennial myself, and I feel like this incorporates not only things of old, like, it, like the Teddy Perkins episode is the one that sticks out for me. <laughs> Because, I mean, it lit Twitter and it lit the, the internet on fire. Basically, Donald Glover is playing the character Teddy Perkins in this, um, like, really, like, white prosthetic facial Hollywood makeup. And they were kind of alluding to him supposedly having some kind of connection to the Jackson family, Darius comes and he's trying to sell him an old piano and it ends up being a really crazy episode. I don't want to give spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, please go and check it out because it's unlike anything you've ever seen. And on the other side, on the flip side, you know, in the second season, it's a young urn in school and his mom, you know, they go shopping and to a thrift store, we've all been there. And he gets a FUBU jersey and everybody's like, you know, it's fake. And they, you know, they roasting him and cracking on him. <laughs> it's just, it's relatable things like that where it resonated with everybody. There's a barbershop episode. <laughs> There's a barbershop episode where Alfred Paperboy is trying to get, you know, just a simple haircut. And when I tell y'all I cracked up from the beginning to the end, <laughs> his barber, his barber had him take him all over town, just running errands and just the craziness that ensued is, is something that I'm definitely, you know, going to miss. There's, a, there's this episode where they dressed up as TLCs in the creep video and they went to a college campus and there was like a fight broke out and i mean just you know that that good old call back to the pajama jams on college campuses those feel good moments where that cultural nuances 
on network television, we just don't see ourselves and our culture reflected back to us like that. So, especially, like I said, in our generation. So I really do uh, want to thank Donald Glover for his creative vision. And I'm definitely going to miss this show because, I mean, it was just, it was real, it was raw, talked about real things, you know, in the last season. Well, first of all, let me, let me discuss the third season really quickly because they actually left Atlanta and they went to Europe, they went to the Netherlands and they dealt with things like cannibalism and um, artwork. And it was it deviated from the first two seasons. A lot of people said that they didn't like it. And on the, in the fourth season, they actually kind of came back to their roots. I feel like that just spoke to who Donald Glover is. He didn't want to be typecast or, you know, pigeonholed within just being one way or even like normative, right? He wanted to deviate from that and take them outside of Atlanta. And I can appreciate that, that creative vision. And it might not have resonated so easily with everyone. They might not have understood where he was going with that. But the fact that he thinks outside the box and he at least tried it, I, I, I give him credit for that. So kudos for that. Um, yeah, I just, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss laughing and seeing people's reactions to the different episodes. The Tyler Perry episode. <laughs> So Vanessa is an actress, an aspiring actress, and she takes her she takes her child, their child, her Ernie's daughter, with her to an audition. And Donald Glover is hilarious. He basically dressed up like Tyler Perry, and he he uh he tried to, you know, come up with like kidnap her daughter and try to on on the set, right, while they're on set. And it's, you know, taking her to different sets between the shoots and, you know, Van's like looking frantically for her daughter. And when she finds her, she's confronted with again Donald Glover dressed up as Tyler Perry. And <laughs> And that was, I'm just thinking about it. I mean, he had, you know, the caricature, like, hello, like all that stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to miss this show. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. And it reminded me of back when, you know, the Boondocks had parodied Tyler Perry. And he, he got so upset that he actually made them take down that episode. So I don't know how long this is going to stay up, I guess. Maybe he let it rock because it's their last uh, season and they were, you know, finalizing the whole series, but it was hilarious. And so I want to miss his autistic or artistic vision. And yeah, it's a, it's the end of an era. I really love just the rawness, the realness, the laughs, the camaraderie that you could tell that they have on camera. I love even the third season, the risks that he took. I'm really gonna miss this show a lot. So big ups to Donald Glover. I can't wait to see what him and the rest of the cast has going on in the future. But yeah, if you guys haven't done so, Take a, take a moment to um, to catch up on Atlanta and drop down in the comments let me know what you think. So I'm going to miss Atlanta, but hopefully we can have more shows like it in the future. And uh, yeah, take care, you guys. Let me know what you think, what your favorite show is. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you other people later. Bye.